everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to use the YouTube editor. YouTube's website actually has a video editor built in where you could do a lot of different things. You could actually trim your videos and take portions of the video out. If you, for example, get into copyright issues or if you used a clip that you weren't supposed to and someone claims that with copyright, you could remove that. You could add music later after you published your video, you could blur sections of your video, ton of different options available that I wanted to cover in this video with the YouTube video editor. And by the way, if it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe for easy to follow content for video creators and YouTube creators like this one and other social media tutorials as well. This is how we're gonna do this. Let's go to youtube.com and then go to your channel. So I just clicked over here and then I went to my channel page and this is where I'm at now. And now all I have to do on this page is press manage videos. And here I could go ahead and either search for the video that I want to edit or I could just find it over here. So I'm gonna actually edit this video right here. And by the way, if you wanna learn how to grow faster on YouTube, this is a really good video. So I'll link this in the description so you can watch it after you watch this video. And the editor right here is on the left side of any one video. So when you come into your video details page, you could go to editor right here. Okay, and this is only available right now on the YouTube website on a computer. You can't actually access this on the mobile app or youtube.com on your phone. So let me give you a quick overview of what you're looking at and then we'll go through the details of the most important things that you could do here. On top here, this is just a preview of your video. So you could press play. You could go ahead and skip back or skip forward 10 seconds. You could go ahead and mute or change the volume. And over here, you have the same option as changing the speed of your video if you just wanna go through it faster or if you wanna slow it down. Okay, so if I press play, hey everyone, in today's YouTube video, I'm gonna this is going to play right show here. You how to grow a YouTube channel. Okay, I'll go ahead and pause it. That's what's going on up here. Anytime you make a mistake, you could go ahead and undo it. And if you wanna go forward, you could redo things on this side. And I'll talk about saving here because by default, any changes you make won't be permanent till you press save, okay? Let's go through the bottom section. This is what is called a timeline in most video editors, okay? So I'll call it a timeline in this case too because that's pretty much what it is here where it starts at the zero mark and then the time goes forward. This video is 15 minutes and 49 seconds long. So here's our timeline. And inside of any timeline, you typically have what's called tracks. So this is track one, this is track two, track three, and you see this divider line right here, right? It separates your different tracks. So let me show you what the different tracks are and then I'll show you some of the most important things you could do inside of each track. Track one is your video track. Right? So if I grab this line right here and move it around, I'm looking at my video. That's all you have on track one. On track two, you have your audio. Now this is me talking right here. There's no music in this, but this could be music and you talking. And you could also add more music to this as well. Okay. Now you can't replace the existing music if it's blended in like this with your audio. Okay, you can write it over. I'll explain more when we get to this, but this is usually one of the most useful options here because maybe you made a mistake or you use copyright music, you can erase it. So let's say you use music you didn't have permission to use, we could actually replace that, but it will replace the whole track, including vocals, right? Because I already edited the music with voice and it's one track that is over here. So that's what we could replace. Track three, this is monetization, so your ad breaks. So if you're making money with YouTube's partner program, these breakpoints right here, these darker lines, represent when an ad plays. Let me just go to one to show you what happens. So it shows ad right here. This is gonna be your ad break, and then we'll talk more about that as well. Then track four, this is where you could blur people, faces, or just parts of your video. So if you show your phone number, for example, or your email, you could blur that later. If you use someone's face that you didn't have permission to use, you could blur that later. And then finally, this is your end screen. This could be accessed in other parts of YouTube as well, especially when you upload your video. But if you look over here, these are the different end screen elements that we'll talk about. Okay, so that's your overview of what's going on on this page. Let's start with 
trimming videos. That's going to be the first thing I'm going to mention. And to trim a video, you need to press this word right here that says trim. And you should see these lines appear over here and you'll get this little gray section on the bottom. Now trimming basically means you're taking a section of your video out of your video. You cannot, however, add new video clips or move different video clips around. So you can't move the beginning of your video to the middle or really any changes like that is not allowed. But if you want your video to start later, if you want to take a little section out in the middle, or if you want your video to end sooner, you could do all of that in trim. Let me show you. Come over here while you press trim, grab the beginning and move it forward. Okay, and then you see this arrow. I could grab this and drag and I'll go to this line here. So now this gray area or this darker area is gone. It's deleted basically. I mean, it's still there right now. I could change my mind, but if I end up saving this and if I press play, YouTube is recommending your, the video is playing right there on that line. It's not starting where it used to at the zero mark. Okay, so this is how you change the beginning of your video. Same thing with the end. Go to the end, come in on it, and the section that is dark gray is going to be deleted. And you could see even my end screen elements here, which we'll talk about in a second, moved in because they're no longer at the end because this whole section is gone now. Okay, so the video ends at 3 minutes and or 13 minutes and 40 seconds instead of 1549. What about in the middle? How can I take a section? Let me just go here. Let's say I wanted to delete number five here. So from number five to number or this credit here, I want to delete this section. Well, I can't just use the arrow here. It doesn't appear for me like it did in the beginning and the end. So what I need to do is let's go where I want this to start. So I want the edit to take place here. What I need to do is come down here and press split. Press that. Now it creates a line just like it did in the beginning. Now I could grab that and go to my next section. And I didn't mention this, but anytime you got this minus zoom out or plus to zoom in or the slider here to kind of get a better look at what you're doing with your edit. Okay. So that's what a split does now. Now, if I decide to make this permanent, I need to first press preview, okay? And then I could save it. Now I have a different error over here, so it's not letting me save it because my end screens are having an issue. But typically the save option will become available when you trim. So you have to press preview first. Now let me undo that because I don't want to actually keep that. And anytime you want to undo any of these splits, you could press this X right here. Okay, that's gone now. Let me zoom all the way back out and I'll get rid of the ending here so that uh, issue goes away with that error message. So that's what you could do with trimming your videos. Okay, I'm gonna actually cancel and exit trim mode here and I'm back to my regular timeline. Trim is available. Let's go and talk about our audio and music here. Let's say here you want to add a different section of music. What you could do is press the plus sign over here and it's going to open this free music panel because a lot of times I know people get in trouble by using music they don't have permission to use and I usually buy my music from a royalty free platform that has really good music and sometimes I'll use the free music that YouTube gives you but typically I don't find what I'm looking for here so I buy my music somewhere else. I'll put a link in the description to the platform I use for that. That way I don't ever have to worry about doing this. But in case you decide to add music, all you have to do is find it over here. So you can search and filter the whole library. It's a lot more than what you see over here, the YouTube library. And you could just press add on anything that you like. Okay, if you press add on it, it adds it right over here. Okay. Now it always puts it in the beginning of the track. So you could actually move it and put it anywhere else. So you couldn't do this with video clips. You couldn't just move things around, but you can with these music tracks. And you have a few options with these as well. You could press the three dots right here, read more about it. 
about the license info or remove it sometimes the license info will make sure that you mention where you got the music in, in your uh, description and you have this mixer okay the mixer basically says if the mix level is all the way to the right it will overwrite the existing sound so you won't be able to hear me or it will replace the entire music track that's already there for this section okay if you go to zero it's gonna blend it in with the sound that's already there so let me press play now it looks like it's overwriting it let me make sure I do this correctly okay now <laughs> this track is not working very well but now you could hear me and the music becomes background now it's not really great uh, the way it's mixing the two tracks even though I brought the mix all the way down so really the main reason I use this for is I leave it on full volume and use it in sections of places in my edit that I don't want the existing sound to exist basically if I have copyright issues now the music is going to write it over now can you extend these tracks well the tracks are as long as they are okay so this track is two minutes and one second I can't extend it anymore but what I could do is I could come to the end of it and I could go ahead and add another track and look at this he added it again in the beginning but I could grab it and then start here I'm really hoping YouTube really improves this feature I mean it's really great right now because being able to replace your audio is great uh, but the ability to mix this a little better really having a much better control like you have in a video editor would be much much better than what you have going on here but the ability to add multiple different tracks to this is really really cool so you have this music play then it'll go into this one and this one and all these different options over here you can make them shorter though but you can't make them longer they're going to be as long as they are and that's kind of the case with any video editor unless you just copy that in the video editor multiple times okay so that's your audio and your music let me discard changes because I don't want to save any of this but if I wanted to I just had to press save okay and let me show you one more thing while I'm actually here if you press these three dots you could save it as a new video too so you don't have to overwrite the existing video you could save it as a new video if you want to keep the old video sometimes that is handy let's go to track three now we're talking about ad breaks so as long as you're in the YouTube monetization program or partner program and YouTube is paying you YouTube is going to add ads to your videos these lines right here are my ad breaks and they were placed automatically by YouTube now the way you get multiple ad breaks is you just have to make sure your video is longer than eight minutes okay if it's longer than eight minutes YouTube will add more than one ad anything under eight minutes you only get one of these ads and you don't want to just jam a bunch of ads in your videos that really takes away from user experiences uh, so I just let the automatic option create these ad breaks for me but you can press ad break right here if you want to manually add one and then these are the times where the ads start okay so if I scroll over an ad so at this point an ad comes and you don't want your ads to be at a disruptive point in the video and the automatic option does a good job in that track four is blur one of my favorite things on this editor let me press it you could blur faces or you could custom blur let me just show you blur faces it basically takes a while and it detects all the faces in your video if you have one face it's going to detect your face but if you have 10 faces it will detect all of them so I'm going to let this go for a second and then I'll come back okay so that <laughs> took about five minutes and this is my face but he also found all these other faces in my video and I think I pointed out a couple of YouTube channels here that I like that are doing things correctly and uh, this is the TubeBuddy channel and so this is probably just from my uh, YouTube homepage and the thumbnails and this is what it found but if I wanted to blur my face for example I could just select me or select everybody and go ahead and apply this filter here and it will blur that face okay so that's all it takes to blur faces and to blur a part of your video if you press custom blur basically what it lets you do is you see this rectangle or oval shape so if you choose an oval shape you could actually click that on your video 
and it could be fixed. This is a fixed blur. So if you left a phone number on a specific part of your video, or you could try to track someone. Okay, this is this works pretty well actually. You will try to track someone if you apply that. And this is the portion of your video right now that's going to get that blur and you could go ahead and extend it right now. This whole section right here actually is what the oval is. You see this is the custom shape and this is the face portion that I picked. Anytime you change your mind, press the garbage can right here. And I had covered this in a different video. This came out a little while ago and it's been very, very useful for me to save some videos from being needing, uh, from being taken down by me, if I left something sensitive there and having to re-upload them, I could just go ahead and blur them after the fact. Now you got track five over here, which is your end screens. And I always recommend that everybody that uploads to YouTube should add end screens to all their videos. So to add an end screen, press the plus sign and it's gonna let you actually apply multiple different types of end screens. So I usually apply templates, which basically gives you multiple end screens. But if you apply a video, basically it lets you apply a little section to your end screen that will basically keep people on your channel. Let me just show you show you what it looks like. I'll mute this, press play. Actually, let me zoom into this end screen section. I wanna show you. Uh, your end screens could be multiple different elements. So mine is going to have a subscribe icon right there. It's gonna show you a video that's best for viewers. And it's gonna show you a video that I choose organically by myself by just pressing this pencil icon and I chose a video from my YouTube channel that is best for the viewers that are watching this video. Okay, so you could actually change any of these. Now by default, when you apply these elements, they're the last 20 seconds of your video and you can't make them any longer. They could only be in the last 20 seconds of your video, but they could be shorter. They could be in the last 10 seconds, for example, or just the last few seconds here if you go in the minimum amount. But the maximum amount is 20 seconds. And I thought it would preview it over here, but it's not showing up. But if it was showing up, basically the end screen elements will show up here and here. And then the subscribe element will show up on the right side. That's the way I have it laid out. But it's not letting me preview it, but I know that's what I've picked over here. Okay, and I usually use uh, the plugin TubeBuddy to apply elements for my end screens and end cards. So I usually don't use this section for, for that, for end screens, but I do use it for blurring, replacing music here, or changing my ad breaks. And now I'm gonna use it too for trimming different sections if I need to take anything out. So the YouTube video editor, I think has a long ways to go, and I think eventually it will become a full-blown editor. I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit all my videos, and I really would like that in five, 10 years from now, basically YouTube has something like that built into YouTube. So you just create your videos and edit your videos right in the YouTube platform, maybe the app, maybe the website, whatever the case, but it is working towards that all the time. This really was not a useful option a few years ago even, and now it's really, really becoming useful. I'm just hoping they, do change some of the things that you could do there. Maybe even the ability to move clips around. I know adding clips could be a little bit tricky, but if you have the ability to move things around and maybe replace your audio track entirely with a new track and being able to mix that a little better, I think that will make it a little bit more useful. But in the meantime, I think you should give it a spin and see if it's gonna fix your problem, especially with copyright issues. It's a really, really powerful tool. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you watch the other video I mentioned that shows you how to grow on YouTube. I talk about everything you need to know to grow faster on YouTube, get more subscribers and views. And I hope to catch you on the next video.